Now we've had some great views of the moon out there tonight. Meteorologist Nathan Gidley joins us with the facts about the supermoon. Well, you sure have enjoyed that bright moon out there tonight. As you see on our dry dock marine center, Lake James camera, you saw that moon rising very vivid in the night sky. Have some video here as well from this morning. This is via CBS News Path in Los Angeles. You can really see how big this moon is on the horizon as it uh, went down this morning. This is a super blue moon. It's brightest tonight. It appears 7% larger and 30% brighter. So you really notice that brightness is the first of four super moons this year. Now we have this super moon because the, we have the full phase lining up with the closest point in the moon's orbit. And we're still going to see this moon be full through early Wednesday. So still some time to enjoy this very bright moon. Now why is it called a blue moon? No, it doesn't have to do with the color. It's because this is the third full moon of the summer. It's not often we see three full moons in a season. That's why it gets that blue moon distinction. The moon's still plenty far away though, 224,917 miles away from the Earth, but that's still pretty close to make it so bright. So if you miss this one, the next super moon's coming up, uh, these ones here. September 17th is, ne is the next one and also coincides with a partial lunar eclipse as well. We're looking forward to that one. If you miss that one, we have October 17th. That's going to be the one where it's actually closest and then November 15th as well. So enjoy the moon out there, especially because we're seeing so much clear sky across the area. You can enjoy it all the way through early Wednesday. Meteorologist Nathan Gidley, Wayne 15 News.